everybody, I'm Elena Yee, and I'm here with some new hardware from Intel. They actually put this in a pretty cool little package for us. I don't know if you guys can see the ultra retro 1970s era packaging here. Really love the little details. There's a little copyright logo here that says 1971. Some of the, the side panels here have references to make-believe games with some pretty funny copy about uh, button mashing and the like. So we're gonna go ahead and open this up and see what they've got inside for us to look at. So as you can see, Intel's kept really strongly with that 70s theme. Uh, the box looks just like uh, an old clock radio that I have at home, completely vintage. So as you can see, it's a console style for this little bit of promotion. If you turn it on, I don't know if you could hear that, but there's that little Intel chime. That's their you know, trademark sound. And the whole point of this is to reproduce that sound using this touchpad here. So if you, if you try it, and you get it wrong, it'll tell you which ones that you pressed were correct and which ones weren't. Red obviously is wrong, blue is correct. So I've tried this a couple of times, so we'll just speed through. And as you can see, it unlocks and sh shoots that forward so that you can see what's underneath. Pretty cool bit of circuitry, honestly. I think it's a pretty nifty little trick right there. So inside here, we have Intel's latest processor. This is the Skylake processor that they announced at Gamescom. It's their uh, Core i7-6700K, which means an unlocked and therefore overclockable processor. It's a quad-core chip with four cores, eight threads, base frequency of four gigahertz, uh, turbo boost of up to 4.2 gigahertz, and this is a 91 watt part. This is built on a 14 nanometer process, which is the same as last fall's Broadwell processor. Um, you'll need a new motherboard if you plan to upgrade to this particular processor. It requires an LGA 1151 socket. This particular chip supports DDR4 RAM up to uh, 2133 uh, frequency and up to 64 gigabytes of RAM. The integrated graphics on this is the uh, HD, or sorry, Intel HD Graphics 530, which supports DX12. So if you want to play DX12 games in the future on integrated graphics, that is actually possible with this processor. I'm going to move along and see what else is in this box. And underneath is a pretty fancy solid state drive. So this is Intel's uh, 70, uh, 750 series solid state drive. This is a little different than your, I would say, consumer solid state drive in that this is a PCIe solid state drive, so it connects using the PCIe slot as opposed to connecting to your motherboard with a SATA cable. These are not actually really designed for, you know, your typical gamer. This is a high-end part. You typically see this in a server so if you're into enthusiast hardware, you could use this. Um, this will set you back about $1,000 the last time I looked at pricing. Um, and honestly, it wouldn't pair well with the processor we just looked at. You would want to use an enthusiast part like an um, eight-core Haswell e-chip. So that about wraps up this look inside Intel's cool little promotion. For more on PC components, PC gaming, and all things tech, you're in the right place, IGN.com.